Good morning. It's a rainy Saturday morning. First newborn clothes for the baby. We are packing for Florida. We leave tomorrow. The mess is here now. I think I'm gonna take everything out of all of these, see what we have, and then organize within each one. And so specifically this past week, I've had a headache or a migraine every single day. I don't know, I just feel like the joy has kind of been sucked out of it because I've just felt so awful. So two things can exist at the same time. I feel really guilty, but then I also am giving myself grace because it's like, what else am I supposed to do? Good morning. It's a rainy Saturday morning and Sage and I are trying to figure out what we're doing today. And I think we just decided that we want to do a couple little projects. So I think we're going to, what are we gonna do? So the closets in our house are a absolute disaster. And I do not say that lightly, they're really bad. There's one where I had the vision of having it be like a toy rotation closet or just like back stock for all of her stuff. And it's a disaster. The play area out here is a disaster. I, I've not kept up with toy rotation or literally anything like that. So my thought is to take everything out of that closet, take it out and let it... We're not gonna take that out because that's paint, honey. That's We'll do that, that'll be like an outside activity, okay? Here, I'll take this out though. You can play with this. So ideally, it'd be nice to have everything organized in bins that like fit in that closet well, that have, you know, here's all coloring and drawing stuff. Here's all quiet time activities. Here's, you know, that kind of thing. I, mean, I literally don't even know. I'll probably have to take notes along the way as I like rip everything out and see. I don't even know what this is. But anyway, I just need some more organization in my life, especially prepping for the new baby coming, which I have, like, I have time, but I've just felt so awful the last however many months, four months, I guess. I just felt so terrible and my mom's probably calling. Yeah, it's probably Aunt B or Mimi. Here, let's answer. Okay, hold please. The moon in my Jaden's got a baseball game. I'm running late today. Anywho, I was saying that I've just been so sick <laughs> these last four months of pregnancy. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. We got a little injury. Um, <clears throat> when I say I haven't had like a clear thought in a very long time, <laughs> I've not had a clear thought in a very long time. So I already regret what I'm about to do with this closet, like starting it, I'm already regretting it. I like already don't wanna do it, but it needs done. Um, and there's 14 other things I could be doing right now, but I'm gonna avoid them and do this instead. We have decided to go to Florida in a few days. So I should be like doing laundry and starting to pack and like get my life together because you know, that takes days when you're packing for a whole family and like trying to do all the things for everybody. So um, I should be doing that, but I'm, I'm gonna hold off on that for now and maybe start that tomorrow, who knows? But I don't know if I'm gonna actually finish this closet today. Let's just start it, see what happens and see what kind of bins I need. And then I can either go to the container store or order bins and whatever. I just like need to get things more organized so I'm like mentally more clear because your girl is struggling. Can we take a moment for this child's hair? I mean, literally. She has the best hair Mommy. ever. Mommy. Best hair. Mommy. You're so silly. All right, this is what we're working with. So yeah, let's, uh, let's figure this out. Okay, here we are. Hey, Everything. Mom. Oh, you were in there? <laughs> I didn't know you were in <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. I did not know you were in there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway, this is all cleaned out. However, the mess is here now. So, I think I'm going to take everything out of all of these see what we have and then organize within each one and like i don't i don't know i'm pretending like i have a system and i don't really but i'll slowly start to put stuff in once it gets organized and just we'll see where we end up
Taking a little break to eat. We're having some bagels and cream cheese. And what else are we having? Some lentil soup, some honey lemon water. And this is the progress. Still got some stuff going on, but for the most part, things are looking good. All right, here is the final product. It is so much better than it was before. I'll kind of give you a little rundown. So there are some like just random toys up there that we don't really use that often. These are all toys for the car for traveling. This is any kind of game or puzzle. This is all music stuff in there. These are her magnetiles, which she doesn't even know exist yet because I haven't given them to her yet. Then here's all drawing stuff, craft stuff, little toys that I use for her to play with when I'm in the shower. This is all activity stuff so she can have quiet time. I'm trying to start implementing that. <sighs> Pray for me. And then, so it's kind of just like learning stuff right here. And then she has little like spelling bee, some flashcards, and then some more flashcards. And then this is kind of just random stuff like straps and instruction manuals and anything that deals with like her stuff, whether it's like a car seat, a stroller, a bed, you know, whatever, all that stuff is set aside and organized in there. And then that's all of her horses. And then down there is actually my postpartum stuff. And then that's just another thing of like straps and stuff like that. And I saved that play mat to use outside like I just did when she was playing with her sink. And then this is just like big pieces of uh, coloring paper or whatever for her to draw on. And now I can open this and feel so much better about life. Good morning, it's a couple days later. We are packing for Florida, we leave tomorrow. So tomorrow I have an appointment with my midwife for my 16 week appointment, very exciting. And I usually schedule them on Tuesdays so Sage and Clark can come with me. However, since we're leaving for Florida tomorrow, I think that I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the appointment by myself and then Clark will be here with her helping like just finish up like packing and like the last minute stuff. So it might be less chaotic if I just go by myself. I'm basically just needing to do all the laundry, pack everything up. Oh, you put your baby in the bag? Yeah? I said car. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So you got your bag. So we need to pack your bag, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, wait, do you wanna show everyone your room? Let's go show them your big girl bed. We haven't talked about this. Okay, so room is not clean, but whatever. So Seiji has a big girl bed now. <laughs> Yay! So we have the crib still up because just in case, but she's been taking all of her naps and the last like four or five days, maybe a week now, I don't know. She's been sleeping in her big girl bed at nighttime, except last night she wanted to sleep in her crib. Why did you want to sleep in your crib last night? You just wanted to? I want to wear those jammies. You don't want to wear these jammies? Okay, well, we we'll probably go pack these for Florida. So, anyway, we did rearrange her room a little bit. This is not done. I don't even know what's happening here. I'm going to do a whole wall thing. Yeah, we're going to pack for Florida, honey. And then this little nightlight is perfect. It was like $20 on Amazon. And it's perfect because there's not a lot of like lighting when we don't want to have the overhead light. So this is the perfect little nightlight and you can take it off and you just charge it and it goes dim and bright and all the things. So it's magnetic. So that's like the perfect little light for her. We like to read books in here before she goes to bed at night. So that light is like perfect. Anyway, so this will be gone eventually. And we have a new crib coming for the baby, which I'm very excited. It's the smaller mini crib to just help with the space in here. And it's on wheels, so that's gonna help just like take it in and out. And I think that's just gonna be very helpful because they are gonna share a room. I think that's what, that's what we're gonna do. And then we moved her dresser, it was over here. Moved it over here, decorated this a little bit. And then her mirror was there, if you remember. But we moved that into the living room. Huh? She's okay. Your baby is? You zipped her up in there? Oh, all right. She just wants my mommy. She wants your mommy? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> That's cute. But, and her mommy's right here. Yeah, you're her mommy, huh? I'm her mommy. Yeah. <clears throat> Sagey's wearing my Skims shorts. You wearing my Skims shorts? You like them? Mommy shorts? Because you said you wanted to look like a princess, right? Oh, they're yours? Oh, okay. Oh. We can share them, maybe. Yeah. 
All right, we gotta get your bag packed for Florida, sister. Guys, will I ever get this guest bedroom looking decent? It's our catch-all room. Like literally just throw everything in here. So this is all the laundry I need to do. Actually, this is just a percentage of the laundry. So I need to go through this and see what I need to pack. I also need to film my 15 week pregnancy update for you. I thought about maybe doing it, should I do it in this video? I should, I should, I should, I should, I should. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and do it in this video and that just helps to just, you know, kill two birds with one stone. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just knock it out in this vlog because I've asked you guys in the sit down chats if you want it to be sit down chats like I've been doing for every week of pregnancy or if you wanna integrate it into a vlog. And I've heard both responses, so maybe I'll just go ahead and do it for this one and see if you guys like that. Um, now that I'm like out of the very beginning of pregnancy, I feel like maybe adding like this in, maybe adding the chats into a vlog would be like fine because I don't know how interesting every single week is gonna to be to sit down. I've combined a couple weeks, but maybe I'll do that. I think that would be just kind of a different way of doing it maybe. I don't know, let me know. I'm trying to just randomly put stuff aside as I'm going through stuff, but this is all the supplements that I'm taking. I have my coffee on deck in case I get migraines. It's instant coffee. It's organic coffee from Whole Foods and it's actually so good. So this is decaf if I just want decaf, but I like to have this on deck for my migraines so I can get to it quickly. And then I'm gonna be packing my Orlo. I love these omega-3s and I'm working with them soon. So I need to film some stuff for them. And then I have just some vitamin D, some B12, zinc, some elderberry, and my prenatals. I'm bringing micro C. This has silica in it, which is really good for your skin. And also just packed a vitamin C, which is good. And then magnesium to help me sleep at night. Hey. She okay? Yeah. All right, good. All right. Later, huh? Maybe we'll go to the store today and see if there's some shoes that we can get you. Yeah, go with Mimi. You with Mimi? Yeah. But they have these specific barefoot shoes that I want you to have at the store. Should we go do that? You show our outfit. Okay. Okay. It is gonna look so cute at Mimi's house, huh? You gotta show them the baby's clothes. The baby got some clothes sent to it. <laughs> First newborn clothes for the baby, huh? The baby's gonna have mostly your stuff, Sage. <laughs> That's why I got a lot of neutrals, because they didn't know what I'd be having next. They're so cute. So cute, aren't they? Oh my gosh. You're so tiny. Do you know the baby's gonna be in this? I'm gonna put my hands in the pocket. <laughs> I'm only gonna get at the blue one. The blue one? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a single out. That's so cute. The baby's gonna fit in that. Isn't that crazy? It's maybe gonna fit in this one. Maybe in this one. Mm -hmm. In case it's cold at the beach. Sometimes the beach gets chilly, doesn't it? These ones are short sleeves, which is perfect for Florida, right? Because sometimes you get really hot in your jammies at nighttime there. Because they don't keep it as cold as we keep it in our house, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's always hot. It's always hot. But this is perfect. These are lightweight. You'll love these and you don't have to wear these yet. All right, we had to take a little brain break and get some fresh air. So we just went on a walk and then we went and played outside. I had to wash off her slide that we have out there. It's just been sitting out there since last summer and it's just so dirty and gross and I feel like it's ruined, but like it's all, it just like looks all dirty, but I just cleaned it off. I mean, it's usable, it's fine, but it just like looks bad, but I mean, whatever. It's an outside toy, what do you expect? Um, but now I'm making some lunch. I'm making some soup, just heating it up. I made soup last night for dinner. My like one of the things I actually can eat right now is soup. Yeah, I'm making lentil soup, baby. 
You want me to put some protein in it? <laughs> um, I did. I put lentils in it. You are so funny. Okay. <laughs> so I've been making soup. I went to a friend's house and they had homemade tomato soup and that sounded so good. It was very good, but it's been sounding good ever since. So I came home and I made it the next day. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Looks good. Thank you. So all I did... Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. We go get just a little bit more in your kitchen. Thank you. Um, anyway, so all I did to make the soup was I did like three or four big tomatoes and then I did a carton or two of cherry tomatoes. I've made it multiple times and I just used what I had. But basically, that's what it is. And then like I never measure stuff, so just do your own proportions. Um, then I did an onion and some garlic cloves and then just some salt, olive oil. And then I roasted that at 425 for like 20 minutes. And then I did broil it for like two minutes just to kind of like make it, you know, good. Oh, thank you, baby. Um, thank you. I put it in there. It's going to be so good. <laughs> okay, give me more, please. So, um, and then you just blend it and add a can of coconut milk and then some tomato paste makes the best homemade soup and then I just made homemade croutons by dicing up bread and put a little bit of olive oil and then whatever spices and stuff you want and then I put it in the air fryer for like eight to ten minutes and they're perfect croutons so I've been making that a lot but anyway last night I made soup but didn't have thank you baby but I did huh here you go thank you so much but I didn't have all the tomatoes so I had two big tomatoes and that was it. And then I did like two or three, I think I did three bell pepper. I had orange and yellow bell peppers. I didn't have red, but yeah, I did those peppers an onion. And what else did I do? I think that was it. And then with some olive oil and salt. And then I blended that up and did the coconut milk in the tomato paste with some salt and pepper and whatever spices. I think I did some thyme and some basil and it's so good. So anyway, long story short, that's what I'm heating up. But I wanted to add a little bit more to it because there was not like a ton because we're both going to split it for lunch. This is going to spill everywhere. I just added some lentils to it to make it a little bit thicker. And I'm heating up a, and I'm toasting a bagel from this brand, Sammy's Bakery. It's a gluten-free bagel. And then we can dip it in there because I don't have any more croutons. But anyway, that's lunch. All right, this is the state of everything right now. I'm making progress. I'm making progress, but I'm nowhere near done at all. But Sage is gonna wake up soon. We're gonna go to a local shop and see if they have her size shoes. Like I wanna get her some sandals, but I wanna do barefoot shoes where it's just like the wider toe splay and where they like the bend really well. It's just better for kids' feet. So they have the specific ones there that carry the brand there. I just need to see like what specifically they actually have. Today it's by appointment only. So we ended up making an appointment for 415. So we're gonna go over there and shop around and see what we can find because she literally doesn't have any summer shoes. And now she's in a size seven, which is crazy. So anyway, let's sit down right now and just do our 15 week update before she wakes up. Okay, 15 week update. <sighs> So week 10 is when it got really, really bad, or when I said that it was like the worst week ever. And I feel like week 15 maybe has trumped that because this has been a very, very, very hard week. And I feel so like, I don't, I don't know that I feel bad because this is literally what I'm going through, but sorry if it's annoying to just hear me <laughs> complain. I mean, I'm, it's not that I'm even complaining, which I definitely have been complaining, but it's just literally me talking about my symptoms and like what I'm experiencing. My left ear is popping so bad I can like not tell how loud I'm being. <laughs> um, but anyway, I like I wish I was one of those people who just felt their best when they were pregnant and felt like it was just like such a beautiful experience and obviously it is. But I am not someone who has an easy ride with pregnancies clearly and it really takes a toll on me and I feel like this week it's hit me really hard just how I've been so sick for so long and so tired for so long that all of it just collectively is just just not that I don't know it's just like kind of come to a head and just has been really hard like to be so sick for so long is obviously physically taxing but 
also it's been so mentally taxing on me and I've mentioned this before but it hasn't stopped and I mean it's gotten better I feel like it's gone through like little waves and stuff but and I feel like it is getting better but as soon as I say that like I start throwing up again or I get really nauseous and I'm just it's it's annoying because it's literally it's like I wake up and I'm like okay what is it today and I'm not trying to come from like a really negative standpoint with that of like low expectation whatever but I kind of do feel that way actually because I'm just kind of trying to mentally prepare myself for the next day and what it's going to be like so specifically this past week I've had a headache or a migraine every single day and I had a migraine I think it was three days in a row this week and then around the migraines have been headaches I can handle headaches because they're not as bad as migraines like I get that but it's just so annoying <laughs> and it's just like just right here in my head and just is constant and to have one every single day has just been like oh my gosh which is just I've never experienced that in my life and it's just crazy and yeah it's just been a lot and I don't want to just keep beating a dead horse and just keep saying that over and over but that's just kind of how this week has been I started feeling kind of guilty this week too because I feel like the joy has kind of been sucked out of this pregnancy and I'm really hoping that it changes like I'm still early on and that can change but I just I don't know I just feel like the joy has kind of been sucked out of it because I've just felt so awful and then I also have feelings of guilt because I feel like I'm not being my best self for, for wow I can talk for sage and I know that I'm literally doing my best and my best feels like it's subpar and just like not good at all so two things can exist at the same time. I feel really guilty, but then I also am giving myself grace because it's like, what else am I supposed to do? I thought this part was done, but it's not where I go into the kitchen and I'm so grossed out thinking about food. Anything in our house just will gross me out. Sometimes like our own house grosses me out. Like, pregnancy is so weird. Like I don't even know how to explain this unless you've experienced this, but it's like, Sometimes just our own house grosses me and there's nothing like wrong with our house. You know? It's not that our house is gross, just things gross me out. You know what I mean? It's so weird. Like opening up the refrigerator and just like being in the realm of like the kitchen stuff makes me so sick to my stomach still at 15 weeks pregnant. And then I have to come back to the bedroom when Clark is going to eat because lately it's been like me kind of maybe eating something and feeding Sage and then he comes home from work and then he has to like figure it out himself. And while he's doing that, I have to like come back in the bedroom and he has to just cook and eat because I can't stand the smell of it. And I can still smell it in our bedroom. So that's been a whole thing this week. And we were planning on going to Mexico to go be with my in-laws. They moved there uh, several months ago at this point and they invited us down there like while I'm, you know, not huge and about to have this baby but we decided that we're probably just not gonna go right now because I've been so sick and just the whole like traveling and then being there and what if I can't enjoy it, it just might be a lot. And Sage needs a passport, Clark's passport is expired. So we'd have to figure out if the timeline would even work. Cause I think it takes like what, six weeks or something like that to get it unless you expedite it, but then that's not guaranteed. And then it's also paying more money on top of that to do that. So I think we might just wait till maybe a little bit later to go so that's kind of a bummer but we are going to Florida tomorrow um, I'm hoping that I'm okay to travel which it's one you know road trip to get there and then one back so I think I should be okay but we are gonna be traveling after my midwife appointment tomorrow it's at 10 and then we're gonna head there afterwards so it's basically gonna be like the second half of the day when we're traveling and that's when it's the worst for me evenings are definitely worse than the first half of the day as far as sickness goes so I'm hoping I'm fine but it's gonna be nice to be in an environment that I'm used to and comfortable with and doesn't take super long to get there and I'm gonna have help with you know my parents and and Clark is gonna be there usually the last however many times we've traveled to Florida Clark has not been there because he works and he like it's a certain amount of time off and we usually use that for you know the vacation that we go on each year and then also this year we're having a baby so he has to take time off for that so Anyway, it's a whole thing, so I'm hoping that I'm fine to travel tomorrow. With all that being said, I do have to remind myself that it is all temporary, but lately it's just really felt like it's not tempor temporary, and I know that it is, but it hasn't felt like that, so that's what's kind of like making me feel down and just kind of blah, you know what I mean? Like, when is it going to end? When am I going to feel good again? And then I know that 
postpartum, like the end of pregnancy is coming, postpartum is coming. Obviously I'm like so excited to have the joy of the new baby, but that comes with its challenges, but I, I'm trying not to focus on that aspect of it. But you know, I'm just trying to just wrap my mind around all of this. And I just really am hoping and praying that I have some kind of just supernatural joy that just comes over me because I want to feel joyful and happy and feel good in my body during this pregnancy and just feel like I can celebrate this baby growing in me just a little bit more without so much effort you know what I mean let's do our little bump date for week 15 if I have room here okay this is this is the bump today week 15 so I feel like nothing too crazy, but it's starting to happen. At nighttime, I feel like I'm in my third trimester, literally. It's so weird because I feel like there's certain times where I'm like, wow, I'm showing much faster than I did with Sage. And then there's also times where I'm like, no, I feel like I'm kind of the same. But at the end of the day, I definitely am getting bigger, but this isn't much different than when I was pregnant with Sage. So I feel like it's kind of been this size for a while now, but I'll be 16 weeks in two days, so 16 is almost 18, which is almost 20. So I feel like it is gonna probably end up starting to go fast and I'll start to get bigger and bigger around like around the 20 week mark. But um, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, I need to finish packing. Okay, we went to the store to look for that little boutique to go look for, to look for some shoes for Sage. And they had really cute ones, but they only had like a couple pairs and they weren't open toed. I was looking for more of like a sandal. But um, I did end up getting her this shirt. This is the one that they didn't have when I was when I went there to try to get something to surprise Clark when I told him that we were pregnant, which I have that video. I will share it soon, which if you guys remember during, sorry, she's like, hey, my table. If you remember during Vlogmas, how my mic went out, my mic was, so that was exactly the timeline of when I filmed the videos of finding out that I'm pregnant and then telling Clark that I'm pregnant. So both of those videos do not have any audio and they're ruined, but I'm going to try to salvage what I can. And I recorded when I told him, I recorded on my phone so I can pull the audio from my phone onto that video. But the other video when I like actually found out was pregnant, it makes me so sad, but I don't have audio to that at all because I forgot to film on my phone. Literally no idea why I didn't think to even film on my phone. Who am I? I don't know. Um, so anyway, I I have the footage, but there's just no sound. But I'll share it. It might not be as exciting. It won't be as exciting. But anyway, <laughs> I'm getting her this. And then I got this really cute cooler bag. It's going to be perfect for the beach, perfect for summer, perfect for like picnics and just like outdoor things. I don't know, road trips, all the things. I just thought it was so stinking cute like this pattern is just everything do you like it Sagey? you do like it me too so it's a little cooler bag i just thought that was so cute and we need something like this so not that i needed to spend the amount of money i did on this one because it's cute but <laughs> i'm almost unpacking not fully but i'll do that tonight and i think i'm gonna make some frozen pizzas for dinner because it's all that i can Handle right now. We have no groceries because we're leaving out of town. So anyway, okay. Oops. Sorry, sissy. Oopsies. Okay. So I think we go ahead and end the vlog here. And I don't know if I'm going to vlog in Florida. We'll be there a week. It goes by so fast. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I really don't know. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself. I might just shut off and just enjoy it or I might vlog it. I don't really know, but I'll probably just do stuff on like Instagram or something. But anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video pregnancy update, all the things, and looking out for those two fun, exciting videos to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.